I'm Jan Hoth with NurtureTheLeader.com. And today's nurturing notion is a little bit of a tender one. It's about having moved here, relocated here a couple of months ago from warm, sunny Florida to um, cold winter Connecticut with all the snow as you see around me. And it's about my experience of being the new girl. See, I moved here, I was so excited, you know, all these new opportunities, meeting new people, new house, new commute to get the kids to school, new commute for my husband, new school, like all sorts of new, right? And as I was busy working on all the details of getting myself set up and, and getting everything worked out for what it means to create home and life and business here, I started to really feel like that, wow, I'm the new girl. You know, I don't know the woman at the, the post office. I don't know the, the person behind the counter at the coffee shop. And I, I don't know the moms that I'm passing in the hallway at the school when I drop my kids off. And I had this like interesting realization of like, wow, I am the new girl. And I was starting to feel lonely. And yes, the weather's cold outside and I was feeling a little bit cold inside and just was like, yeah, it just, it was really tough. And you know, whether you live in a small town or a big city, you know, at any point in time, sometimes you have that experience of being the new girl. And no, you don't necessarily have to move to have that experience of being the new one. And so I realized I really needed to nurture myself, especially in this area. And I wanted to share with you my, my little formula for that because this is really what's assisted me in creating myself and my life here to be amazing. Because you know, I'm committed to having an amazing life and I'm committed to you having an amazing life. So that's why I'm here sharing with you my, my secrets and my tools and my insights to really assist you. So the first thing I did is I looked within and I really checked in with myself and said, gosh, what do I know I require? And then I asked myself, what do I desire? And when I answered the question requirements, a couple of things came up. I needed to take some more time for myself, like just basic, nurturing like getting in the bathtub and and really having some self-nurture time that way but also having a date night with my husband and then when I was checking in about what do I desire and I realized what I really desire is more community connection and that's when I moved into the second step which is reaching out and it was interesting because as I started to reach out at the school, for example, I realized, wow, uh, these women that I'm connecting with, a lot of them are new as well. They're either new to the school or new to the area. And I realized, gosh, I wasn't alone. And what was fascinating about that aspect is that there's so many times in our lives that whether you've been living in some place for a long time or just moved there, we're all craving that connection. So then the third step that I took was to actually take action in this aspect of creating community. So I invited a mom to have a play date with our kids. And since then have created more gorgeous relationships. And there's many other examples that I can give you. But here's my invitation to you is to go ahead and look for yourself. Are you too craving that connection? Are you too in your own way experiencing the new girl syndrome where you think, gosh, I'm all alone over here? Or are you just really ready to create something, a new spark, a new inspiration in your life? Either way, I invite you to go ahead and take these three steps that I just shared with you and you're also welcome to reach out with me. Reach out to me and connect with me. Feel free to give me a call or send me an email. And go ahead and 
post a comment here. Let us know what you're going to do to take on shaking off whatever your version of this new girl syndrome might be and share with us what, what you've come up with. Thank you for stopping by today. I so look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye-bye.